What do you get when you clash the pedigree of Lamborghini with the masterminds of MIT? Well, let me show you. Meet the Lamborghini Terzo Millenio, the all-electric supercar of the future. The Terzo Millenio, meaning the third millennium, is a collaborative effort between the infamous Italian supercar maker and researchers from the world-renowned Massachusetts Institute of Technology in Boston. As you can see, the results speak for themselves, and the vehicle's unveiling gave us a sneak peek at not the next generation of electric hypercars, but the generation after that. Talk about planning ahead! Now, I would love to share with you a jaw-dropping spec sheet with an insane 0-60 to 60 time and ludicrous top speed, but as it stands, the Terzo Millenio is very much a static entity. I know what you're thinking, just another over-the-top thought experiment that doesn't actually work, right? Well, yes and no. This is a concept car that does not drive, and its unveiling was simply a showcase of ideas, so you could say that this car has thought experiments written all over it. But the difference is that Lamborghini and MIT have genuine intention of bringing this wild beast of a creation to life, which is more than just a little bit crazy when you hear what this car will be potentially capable of. The most notable and widely spoken about is the Terzo Millenio's ability to self-repair its own bodywork and structure. Sounds rather far-fetched, I know, but Lambo and MIT really are working towards making this unimaginable feature a reality. The technology will come thanks to the car's outer shell being made out of electricity-storing carbon nanotubes sandwiched between a pair of carbon fibre laminates. These next-level composite body panels will be able to conduct their own health checks, allowing them to monitor and detect cracks and damages. The panels will literally self-heal by the carbon nanotubes heating up in damaged areas, sealing any micro-cracks in the process. This self-healing feature will stop small structural problems from progressing into serious problems. It will also save time and money manually inspecting the vehicle before and after spirited driving sessions. This new self-healing feature is big talk, even in the world of concept cars, but the entire Terzo Millenio project is all about ambition and making big leaps in the industry. Lamborghini has said that through the development of the Terzo Millenio, they plan to address technological advancements in five major areas of building electric supercars. The propulsion system, energy storage, innovative materials, visionary design and emotion. I think the self-healing bodywork checks the innovative materials box, and it's pretty obvious that the visionary design aspect has been ticked off too. The car is as futuristic as they come, while still maintaining those quintessential Lamborghini lines that respect the car's lineage, especially with looking at the car's silhouette side on. Moving around to the car's front or rear, things start to get a little bit more interesting. There are several hard-hitting scoops, wings and vents, as well as the unmissable aerodynamic wind tunnels that run between the monocockpit and all four wheels. Striking is the word that comes to mind, from the muscular, protruding front and rear wings to the sloping windshield that sweeps from the roof all the way down to the front diffuser. Everything about this car looks like it means business, a demonstration of functional design at its finest. The aggressive side vents will open and close when braking and accelerating. The rear wing will be forever adjusting to achieve just the right amount of downforce. And the very cosy teardrop cabin will allow the Terzo Millenio to slip through the air like a peregrine falcon. On the energy storage front, the Terzo Millenio will utilize supercapacitor technology to fuel its electric motors as opposed to batteries. Battery technology is moving incredibly fast, way faster than supercapacitor technology. However, if MIT can make the right developments, the use of supercapacitors will allow the car to charge quicker and expel energy far more efficiently. The carbon nanotubes that make up the car's body also happen to store static electroenergy really, really well, essentially turning the entire vehicle into one great big energy-storing supercapacitor. This not only saves weight and space, but it also distributes the weight of the energy storage evenly across the entire vehicle. Is there anything they haven't thought of? Moving on to the propulsion system. This will actually manifest itself as propulsion systems, thanks to the Terzo Millenio featuring not one, but four electric motors, each of which will be housed within the dazzling light-up wheels. You might be wondering where the brakes will sit if the wheels are filled up with motors, but the Terzo Millenio doesn't need any discs or calipers, as the motors themselves look after all the braking, which in turn allows them to recuperate some energy as well. If you're still hanging to hear some performance stats, Lamborghini has been very reluctant to put out any projected numbers, but Maurizio Reggiani, the chief technical officer, said that for an EV to be deemed worthy of its brand, it has to exceed 300 km per hour and be capable of doing three hot laps of the Nordschleife racetrack, because after three laps you'd need to replace the tyres. A rather odd depiction of speed for sure, but by the sounds of things you can rest assured that Lamborghini will never let anything less than exhilarating leave their factory, electric vehicle or otherwise. Now for Emotion. Emotion has a lot to do with Lamborghini as a brand and how their cars make drivers feel a very distinct way. 
Whether it's the sensation of sitting centimetres from the ground, the rail-like handling, or the drumming V12 soundtrack, a Lamborghini driving experience is so unmistakable, many are questioning how the company is going to capture this essence in an EV. Lamborghini's history is built upon V12s that roar, spit and gurgle, quite the contrast from what an electric motor offers up in the grunt and sound department. There's no arguing that EVs will never sound like their gas-guzzling counterparts, and that's a frightening thought. However, the Terzo Millennio is doing its best to tackle the problem head-on. The car's designers are looking at how they can manipulate the airflow over and around the vehicle to create a somewhat woodwind soundtrack. In essence, turning the Terzo Millennio into a blisteringly fast acoustic instrument. It seems the future of supercars will be less growly, more whooshy. I'll let you decide if that's a good or a bad thing. It will be easy to write the Terzo Millennio off as merely a hopeful dream and a nice idea. A vehicle that's so heavily laden with technology that's still in infancy or entirely non-existent is difficult to get behind and even harder to understand. But in this industry, you have to take risks, and it takes a company such as Lamborghini to lead the pack and push boundaries for the industry to evolve as a whole. The Terzo Millennio concept intends to push those boundaries without reservations, looking well beyond what's currently possible. Lamborghini is well aware of how out there and ambitious this project is. However, we can all agree that nothing great in the car world has ever surfaced from playing it safe.